Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be doing a summer patio makeover. This was definitely an area of the home that needed some TLC. So we have not touched this area since last summer. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff back here and we don't get a lot of sun so it gets so grimy during the winter back here. So we definitely needed to do lots of things but this was a three-day process for me just doing all of these projects that we had in store for back here um, I spread it out because in Ohio we were pushing some 90 degree days and I didn't want to overdo it so you'll see me in quite a few outfit changes but anyways this area just it needed to get done and I'm so happy with the results and I can't wait to show you guys at the very end but anyways, just going to clear off all of this stuff uh, that is laying back here and moving this furniture uh, so I can go ahead and clean the patio off. Next I got the leaf blower and I'm just going to push off all of this extra debris um, that's back here. Mostly leaves and just dirt and see the chalk all over the place um, and behind the air conditioner. Now we put this fence up over the air conditioner around it last summer. I will have that video linked if you're interested in how we did that. Um, but this unit will be eventually getting moved because I don't know why it's they put it in the center of the deck um, but we are going to be moving it so my husband does HVAC and he is going to switch it onto another part of the house where it's not so in the way but anyways until that happens this fence is going to have to do so anyways as you can see back here where we don't get a lot of sun because it is so shaded this is how it looks after winter every year. So we definitely get the power wash every year and I do as best as I can to get as much off. And as you can see, like the power washer, if you don't have one of these machines, it's a definite must. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I find it so satisfying to clean with the power washer back here and just getting off all that dirt and grime and it just looks so much better after you're done. So the next day when we, it all dried, like you can see how clean it looks. But now I'm just moving on to one of the major projects that I wanted to do back here. And after I found and relocated a couple of my friends here because they like to hang out under the rocks, um, I'm going to move all of these rocks that are surrounding the patio. So this was a huge, task but when I get something I'm determined about it I need to see it through so <laughs> I followed through and I got all of these rocks out here but luckily I didn't have to go very far with them and as you can see my helper he doesn't really let me do much by myself he's always going to be around to protect me So next project after I got all of those rocks moved, I got these chairs. My dad actually picked them up from one of his jobs. He's a contractor so sometimes people just get rid of stuff and he knows I like to flip furniture and do lots of home projects so he's always asking me all the time if I want stuff <laughs> of his jobs and of course these chairs had such good bones to them. The wood was just really worn down but we found this paint. Um, by Bear uh, Deck Paint and it is supposed to fill in all of those gaps for the wood uh, and it, this stuff is like magic 
oh my goodness, it made this chair look brand new. And I only used one coat. It's super thick like toothpaste um, and it just seeps into all those cracks and crevices and like butter. It's really good paint. I highly recommend it if you have any projects like furniture or again the decking. Um, it, it works it works so good so highly recommend it and I'm using if you didn't see that is called Atlanta or Atlantic maybe um, and it's just this really pretty like navy blue and they have so many different colors in it um, but I like blue because it matches the rest of the house um, and all of the other decor and things I have out here so I definitely wanted to go with that color. So this is what it looked like when I was completely done with it. Uh, it's so pretty and I absolutely love it. They just have such good bones and I know this is going to hold up for many years to come. Uh, the next thing I wanted to tackle is over the winter we had a lot of bulbs burn out. Um, these have been up here for three years. That's another, our first patio <laughs> makeover out here which I will have that video linked as well. Um, we hung these string lights in that video, but I will add that video again in the description if you want to see us doing all of these things, but some of these bulbs definitely needed replaced. So next I'm just going to plant some impatience in these pots that I have back here. This was another project from, I believe, our first uh, patio makeover video. Again, I will have that link. Um, and it's just old farmhouse windows that actually came from an old farmhouse of our friends. And we just put chicken wire on the back of them and spray painted them to just bring some color back here. Um, but we like to use impatience because again, they, they're great in the shade and they're beautiful. They just bring so much color back here. So I'm just going to plant one in each pot and that is what that looks like. It's, it's so pretty, I absolutely love it. Um, and then I have this sign that was a DIY. I will link that video as well on how I made that. Um, but I just love the, the sign um, to kind of let people know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bring it to the patio. So next I'm going back to where the rocks were. Um, my husband and I built this kind of retaining wall um, so we could make a flower bed around the deck instead, or the patio instead of all of those rocks. Um, so we had to get some dirt and some mulch and our property is filled with hostas. Um, so I definitely wanted to transport some of those back here, again, just to bring more life and color. Um, so yeah, it, it definitely turned out. But if you're looking for, I know the price of lumber is up really, really high right now, but surprisingly these garden timbers are not high. Um, I believe they were $5 a piece, so definitely reasonable if you're wanting to do something like this. Um, so it didn't cost very much, and also like the rebarb um, to hold it all together. And We only went three high to match the height of the deck, 
but this will help from people tripping off the deck or the patio and um, just kind of keep everything enclosed. Um, so it definitely looks so much better without all of those rocks. So I went around and collected five hostas uh, to transport back here and I'm just going to again plant them and then after I got those in the ground then I'm going to lay my mulch down. Hostas are such a hardy plant and there's really not much you can do to kill them. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, they definitely will last a long time back here and they will get big. Some of them were already starting to flower, so that's good. And again, to add more color back here. So now I'm just gonna again lay the mulch over top and then that's gonna just really finish it back here and give it that nice finished look. So we're just using some black mulch um, just to make it look clean and well put together. There's another one of my guard dogs too. Who who doesn't really let me do much by myself. That just looks so much better. Uh, I, I love it. So much better than the rocks. And now I'm just going to plant some flowers um, in our little pots. Again, I use lots of impatience because they do really well in the shade and I also have some creeping jennies. So these are just some greenery that like drape over the pot um, just to kind of hide any flaws in the pot. Um, I mean, they're buckets, but they're fine. Um, I absolutely love them. But the bottom is filled with cement. Again, I will have that video linked of how we did this, um, but I plant these flowers in here every year. Here's my problem. <laughs> we have chickens and I have bought so many flowers and by the time I got um, time to plant them, they have, they've destroyed all of these flowers. Um, but anyways, as soon as I got done planting these, I let them out, which you will see here in a little bit. Um, they, they know immediately something's different and came running up here. We heard if you put cayenne pepper like around your flower beds, they won't get in there. Um, so you'll see me sprinkling a little bit of cayenne pepper. Uh, they thought it was like a gourmet meal. Um, they loved it. And they still got in the mulch and destroyed all these flowers in this pot that I planted. So if you have any suggestions on how to keep flower or how to keep your chickens out of flower beds, I'm all for it because I'm kind of fed up to where I'm not going to like let them free range anymore unless it's fall and summer or fall and winter where things aren't growing and they can't destroy all this money and time and effort that I'm putting into making this backyard pretty. Um, but let me know. I'm up for any, any suggestions. But anyways, we have two of these pots and I'm going to just do the same thing I did on the other one and do the impatience and the creeping jennies.
So this is just preen um, that I'm using for plant food <laughs> and then me plant sprinkling cayenne pepper um, all around. Um, not to put on the plant, just on the base. Yeah, it didn't work at all. Um, and then I have a couple hanging baskets that I'm going to hang from these poles. Uh, again, just to give that color up there. And here they come. Here they come running to destroy more things. We have 11 of them. And we've always let them free range, but their coop is big enough we, that we don't have to do that. But my husband has it in his head that when they're out and about, they're the happiest and they're going to lay more eggs. Um, but I don't know. I can't have them destroy all this money that we put into getting back here. Um, yeah, I just don't know what else to do with them. So let me know again if you have any suggestions about the chickens. So as you can see, like the ones behind me just pecking away. Um, but anyways, I'm going to give um, this table a good cleaning. Again, it's just so grimy from the winter time. So I had to use a rag and then I'm using paper towels to just really finish it up. Now I'm just going to put everything back. Next, just going to move the grill back and this cover definitely needs replaced but anyways I wanted kind of all the food stuff to be at that end separated with the air conditioner and this is going to be a nice little seating area um, for us so I picked up this rug from Dollar General for $20 um, I think it's a five by seven um, so anyways I just wanted it to be just nice and cozy when we come out here and sit have a nice drink um, with my husband and just talk about our day. I just thought this would be such a cute little area to do. So I'm going to put my new gliding chairs over here um, and this is just going to be such a perfect little seating area. These gliders like go way back so I definitely wanted to make sure they were nice and away from the wall. And there's my third protector, <laughs> my third dog. So now that's just the end here, going to be putting some of these decorative finishing touches. I picked up those solar lights from Dollar General again for $6 and I'm just going to stick them in between um, each of the hostas. As you can see, the mulch is now red from all the cayenne pepper I put in there to keep the chickens out. It did not work. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know what else to do. But anyways, <laughs> these lights are just going to go in between there and it's just really going to make such a difference. Just kind of a finishing touch. So I hope you guys didn't mind all the talking in this video, but this is it. This is how the patio came out. I absolutely love it and I'm so looking forward to days and evenings out here with the kids and my husband to just enjoy our property um, because it is so peaceful and calming out here. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hope you got lots of ideas and inspiration for your outdoor space. If you did like today's video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And with that being said, have a good day guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.